Hey everyone, this is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects tour on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. And today, I'm going over 60 frames per second twix string, and I'm including a bunch of footage, everything that you saw in the intro, all for free. So give this video a like for all of our hard work and all the dedication we give to you guys. <laughs> Alright, so now that we're on the computer, let's check out one of the clips that were at the beginning of this video. You will notice that it is actually very convincing. That slow motion looks very nice. I bet none of you even really noticed that there is some warping. And the warping happens in his feet, right here. And there's no way around that, guys. Even with 60 frames per second, you need at least like 120 to 500 frames per second to get perfect slow motion. I'm talking about the slow motion like in Sherlock Holmes. I wish that I had a camera that could do that, all right? But since we're limited to 60 frames per second, people like us, we need to work around that. We need to find where it starts warping, and we need to bring it back to full speed before it hits that time. So then it looks like we have an, a very expensive camera. I mean, this is a very convincing shot. Look at that. So beautiful. And then it comes back right before the warping happens. So, yeah, um, I'm going to be providing all this footage. Uh, the one's called hump. You see, it's just me humping. 60 frames per second. Uh, 720p. The, this is the one you just saw. This is the raw footage. Beautiful. And the last one is like my first tutorial with uh, 30 frames per second. But this time it's at 60 frames per second. So, since I already did this one, let's do hump in After Effects. So, uh, let's click and drag it into After Effects drag it onto this blank canvas area and then since it's at 59.94 frames per second we can um, put it in we can just click and drag it in there um, I will go over render settings in Sony Vegas after this tutorial so uh, stay tuned if you are kinda confused about that so um, this is gonna follow pretty much the same exact format as my last 30, 30 frames per second tutorial so uh, Let's uh let's do it. If you guys remember, first enable keyframe blending. Then you go up to frame blending and you go to pixel motion. Then you right click on it again, go to time, enable time remapping. Then let's go up to composition. Let's change the comp settings. Uh make sure it's at 59.94 frames per second. And uh let's click right here and let's just add another 20 seconds onto it. Uh zoom out. And since we have frame blending enabled, let's click and drag on the end of the clip and drag it all the way out just so we have room to work with. Okay, so now uh, let's actually bring this down to third just so while we're trying to find uh, the good spot to Twixter. So if you can't find Twixter, uh, just go up here and type in Twix, you know, like the, the Twix bar, and then click and drag it on to hump. So now we want to find a good place to put Twixter on this hump. So, in my opinion, I like even numbers. So, I hump once, I hump twice, then right here, I want Twixter to come in because I want on the third hump, I, that's when I want to be slowed down. So, um, with that, let's go up to Twixter and let's start editing the settings. We're not going to mess with the Twixter output, we're not going to mess with the hump layer, we're not going to mess with the uh, alternative motion source. We're not going to mess with the input fields. It just makes it look weird. You guys can experiment with all this. I'm providing you the footage. But this is just after tons of time. Um, this is just my opinion on how I think it looks best. So this is where it differs from the 30 frames per second tutorial. Oh, we're going to type in 59.94 frames per second because that's what the footage is at. Motion vectors, make sure it's at best. Uh, image prep, do not do edge contrast on any of these clips. It will not look very good. Motion sensitivity, I always amp that up because uh, I'm a bamf like that. We're going to skip speed for now. Frame interpolation, we're going to change it to motion weighted blend because if you guys remember how I explained it, um, this basically means blend basically just blends all the footage together. And uh, not always, it doesn't look as good in, on some um, clips like on this clip I know that motion weighted blend will look better because it's only affecting what Twixter is being applied to which is my body so that just preserves the quality more that's just my opinion 
and uh, with my time, I'm not even sure if that's right, but just with my time that I've spent with this, that's what I've learned. So I uh, turn on Smart Blend, and then we're going to go to Motion Blur Compensation, and we're going to turn it to about 1. Point, uh, let's put it to 1.2. And now we are ready to start Twixtering. So uh, since, well, I'll keep it at third right now. So we're going to uh, click this down arrow to reveal effects, and we're going to Reveal effects again, click the drop down menu again, go to output cycle, and now we're going to go to the speed. Click on speed, and now I already chose a spot. If you haven't chose a spot, this is a good time to choose a spot too. If you don't like the spot I chose, then don't use it, okay? <laughs> so next to speed is that keyframe. Oh, we're going to click it, and then we're going to use the page down to skip a few frames right there. And now this is when I really want it to kick in, when my arms start going back. So this is when we're going to click on the 100 and we're going to turn it down to, um, what, what do you think we should do? Let's do 5%. So boom, now it's slowed down and it's going to keep going and until right about there. That's when I want it to end. Uh, maybe all the way back, when my arms are all the way back. Boom. Then it can come back now. So with uh, we don't want to you know, make another keyframe by clicking and dragging. That's just lazy. So we're going to make sure that we go over to the left and we're going to click another keyframe and that just adds one with the five value. Then we're going to skip ahead using the page down. Boom. Right about... Probably right there. That looks pretty good. We're going to click and we're going to do 100%. So, now that that's done, you can see that it stops right about there. That's when the clip actually ends. So, boom, it's going to come back and it's going to end right about there. So, um, now we're just going to click and drag the composition in. And we're going to end it a little bit before that and then go to trim comp to work area just so uh, it ends at the right time now. So, with that, we made some pretty convincing stuff. I'm going to turn it to full. And now, to preview what I did, <laughs> look at my face, <laughs> hit zero. And that will start a pre-render. It's not actually rendering it. It's just going to make it so you can see what you did. So uh, I'll bring you guys back when it's done. And then we can see what we did and see if we like it. All right, guys. Welcome back. Um, here is the product that I did by hitting zero. So uh, this is what we just made right here. Look at that slow motion. So good looking. So crisp. Barely any warping going on. I mean, the shadow warps a little bit, but... I mean, it's not enough to where anyone's going to be like, oh my goodness, the shadow warps so much. Uh, it actually looks very convincing and pretty awesome. So uh, I'm happy with it. So we can move on to the last step, and that's adding color and such. So uh, let's actually go here and go fit, just so we can see everything. Let's close up the menu. And now let's right-click and go New, Adjustment Layer. And now we're going to hit Enter and just call it CC. Okay, so we're going to go over to here, hit the X, and then we're going to find, you can use whatever you want, since we have the Magic Bullet uh, Studio stuff, I'm going to use it, so uh, Misfire, Vignette, I always use this on my stuff, because it looks amazing, um, then we'll do Looks, boom, let's find something that looks good, because people are, they're always like, you use the other one too much, oh, I'm sorry, it looks so nice, okay, goodness, so sue me. <laughs> oh, man. There's so many good-looking ones here. Um, I forgot which one I used for the other video. Fish eye. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, right. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. Hmm. Kind of like it. I don't know. There's just so many good ones. I should have picked one. Oh, movie star doesn't look half bad. Um, I might just stick with movie star. Mishandle negative always looks good, but I use that. One. I already used that one on the other video, so let's use movie star. I mean, why not, right? Who cares? Vignettes, vignettes a little, little intense. So I'm actually going to leave some room. Okay, boom! Look how beautiful. Um, let's go back to fit. Okay, so uh, let's add a lens flare by going new, solid, 
make it whatever color you want. Let's go to the bottom, go to video copilot, optical flares, drag it on. I mean, I've I've done so many tutorials on this. If you don't have uh the blending modes, hit F four. And then of course you're gonna go to uh where is it? Screen. Then we're gonna go to options and let's pick a nice flare. Uh, let's go Pro Presets 2. So many good flares. It's insane. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. Um, well, Holy Beans. Well, I, I used Pro Presets 2 last time. Let's go Natural Flares. Hmm. Hmm. Tack Light. Uh, I don't like any of these. How about Pro Presets? There's just so many good ones. I mean, I like all of them. Don't get me wrong. I just want to find the most perfect, beautiful, sexy. Where is it? Come on. Give me one. Hey, Vertigo is kind of cool. Let's just use that one. See what happens. It's a place called Vertigo. I don't like that. Uh, I'm going to waste all my time just looking for a freaking flare. You know what? I'm going to go to one that I know looks good. Mini Anamorphic always looks so sexy. Uh, let's turn up the brightness a bit. Uh, maybe not. Maybe just the scale. Brightness not so much. Maybe, yeah. Actually, brightness up. Yeah, that looks good. All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, with that, pretty sure the video's going to look really nice. Um, <laughs> now we can go to the rendering. Uh, go up to Composition. Go to Add to Render Queue. And then uh, go to lossless here, and we're going to go to QuickTime, and then make sure that it's on Photo JPEG. Just go down and hit Photo JPEG. It will automatically save the like um, the frames per second and everything. That is automatically saved and defaulted to what you have in your composition. So don't worry about that. Same with the size of the video. It will be 720p. Um, now we're just going to rename it to. Uh, we're going to name it Hump. Hump High. Save. And we're going to render her out. See? See how easy that was? Not bad, huh? So uh, with that, uh, the tutorial is done. Just, um, yeah, that was just the basics to how to do uh, 60 frames per second twix during. I think I got kind of in-depth. I mean, I showed you guys a lot in the last tutorial too so um, it's pretty much the same exact thing just with 59.94 frames per second but uh, I will show you guys well that's rendering actually why not right I still have some memory left over <laughs> let's go up to Sony Vegas and I just want to show you guys here's the original footage over here let's say you guys want to edit that footage actually did I I think I deleted the original of these alright well it's not a big deal let's grab a lump Let's drag and drop it into here. And what you might, this is, yeah, see, it's at 30 frames per second. It won't even let you drag it into here. And that's because this is not set for 60 frames per second. And it will look all jagged. That's why you have to go to File. And then let's just actually go to, you can either go New or hit Properties. Let's just create a new project. Um, you can keep it at 1920 by 1080. It'll size it up, but I would recommend putting on some, uh, um, what's it called, sharpening to kind of compensate for that scaling up, you know. But let's keep it to what we have. So 1280 by 720. And then the frames per second, we're going to go down to 59.94. And then everything else is pretty good. So hit OK. And now check it out lump drag dropper boom and it came in check that out boom and now rendering let's just go file render as and I'll just do some random format just so you know well that's really random let's just go to this uh, let's go internet HD 720p let's uh, edit that so if we were gonna do it in here may just the main thing is to make sure that you change the frame rate oh you can't even do that here maybe you can just type it in so 59.94 make sure you always change things to that and now uh, all these other settings this is just a random one this is what I wanted to get across 
Make sure across all your platforms you're always using 59.94 or else you're going to get dropped frames and it's going to look horrible. So with that, we are done. Make sure you download the uh, original files here and if you want I can provide this in a uh, project file too. I'll do that for you. Why not, right? I'm a nice guy. So thank you guys so much for watching. We love you. And if you guys say anything about my dirty desktop, I'm going to say, who gives a rat's tail, okay? It's my desktop. Do what I want. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week on Effects Friday. And stay tuned for Brandon's tutorial on Tuesday. We love you guys. Peace. <laughs>